segment of the BTS vlog is about uh, ooh, 10 to 7 in the morning. Yeah, so I'm going to give you a time and date stamp. It is 6 hours and 51 minutes into the day of uh, uh, Thursday, March 4th, uh, 2000. Uh, no, March, uh, March 3rd or 4th. Uh, 2016. I got a. I'm kind of a little little off with my dates right now. So <laughs> Wednesday was just a, a complete down day. I spent most of the day sleeping. So that was my weekend. That's how. That's some how my weekend. One one day is the weekend, and where I do some work but not do a lot of work. I did a lot of editing yesterday, and it's the issue. The issues that are popping up are are still that. Uh, it takes a lot of uh, memory, a lot of uh, uh, system power to properly view uh, the Blu-ray files, the, the MTS, uh, MTS and MP4 files, this, or the, uh, uh, the standard the H, uh, I think it's 264, something like that, the, uh, the full high def uh, uh, MPEG and so on and so forth. And, so forth. Um, and the result is I have to transcode them to a lower format of uh, MP4, still very high quality, but still uh, you know a lower a lower quality of it, uh, in order to work with them properly, in order to do the proper editing, because uh, they don't edit right when you're uh, when when they're in the uh, in the editor, uh, there are issues when it comes out. So uh, the end result is going to be that uh, I have the transcode, and it takes about. Ooh, for a seven-minute clip, it takes about an hour and a half to do that. So uh, it it is going to be some time before some of the, some of the stuff is put together. Uh, I have to sort of schedule things out to get things done in a in a in a, in a more uh, in a more uh, in terms of time economical or, or efficient manner. But that sort of remains to be seen. What's going to happen? It, it there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of work to be done on the editing desk to get it properly scheduled so that I can get a continuous flow of material going out. So that's the, that's the next challenge. The next this, this that's the challenge that we're performing now. I am on the editing desk. Uh, things are being worked on, and now it's a matter of getting uh, the content out the door. So. We've moved it. We've moved uh, our progress. We're, we're, we moved our chains at chunk four. We, we're we're four from where where we were before. But as we get into new areas, this is, this is always happens. There are unexpected uh, situations that will pop up, unexpected, uh, unexpected events, and we have to deal with them and, and uh, sort of work these unexpected unexpected consequences or uh, or events into the schedule. In other words, we have to adjust our schedule. We have to go back, look at our efficiency, look at what's happening, and readjust how things are done so that we can get an improvement on our efficiency. And that means that we are getting more work done uh, in a shorter time span than we would normally would if we weren't paying attention to our efficiency. And the thing is, this has to be done in such a way it's you know in, in in terms of mechanism that you have to uh, the efficiency cannot necessarily be uh, at the end of the day when you want to consider uh, progress. 
it has to become routine. It has to, your, your, your new efficiency model, at some point in time, if it's going to work properly, will have to become routine. So you don't even, not, you're not even thinking about it. You're just going through the paces, and you're getting that, that work done. And so that's uh, what has to be done today. Uh, more of uh, the editing... Uh, 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 work has to be put into a routine. We'll try that again. We'll, we'll add that to our routine today. And we'll see where we end up uh, by the end of the day. Hopefully, I can get enough edited, uh, enough of the stuff done that I can put uh, videos out today. Uh, but uh, if that doesn't happen, we'll do it. For, we'll do it. We'll aim for tomorrow. We'll aim for Friday. That's kind of that's how you know you have to you, you have to have your, your your goal. But if you don't reach your goal, you know, it's not always the worst thing possible. In other words, you 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 aim for what you do. But if you can't get it done, you know, don't freak out because freaking out only makes you it, it only pushes you behind. Freaking out and panicking doesn't resolve anything. Matter of fact, creates more problems. That you're gonna have to clean up later later on. So it's better if you can find a way. You know, this is part of the practice. Uh, you know, something goes wrong. You're not gonna meet your deadline. There are solutions around. There are options. There are options. But if you don't think about these, if you're not, in this, in, you don't. If you just simply freak out about it, you're not gonna see these options, and you're not gonna be able to work with uh, what's there in order to uh, probably get things done. And then you'll even be in further trouble. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm gonna leave this here. Uh, it's time to uh, get the day started, and um, we'll go from there. All right, take it easy and goodbye. Well, not bye, but see you in the next segment. <clears throat> well, good morning, everybody. It's now time for the. Next segment of the BTS vlogs, that's right, uh, it is, hmm, sorry, 10 hours and 19 minutes into the day of, uh, March, uh, 5th, 2016, and I ended up, I didn't end up vlogging on Friday at all. Which was the fourth? I kind of got my days mixed up. Uh, in one of the one of the segments, and I was kind of a day ahead. But I, the length of time is taking to edit. Uh, there is already the first episode is already up, but it does take uh, for the rendering. It takes about five hours for the half hour. And I noticed that uh, there seems to be an issue with the focusing in terms of uh, how uh, the, ca the camera actually handles it. Uh, so I'm going to try to play around with some of the settings and see if I can improve that. Uh, but these are things that will sort of have to come in time as I, you know, bit by bit I get the sort of the, the editing situation worked out. Because I do realize it's going to take a little bit of time. I have multiple systems dedicated to editing right now. So it's a matter of sort of uh, balancing the load. <sighs> and making sure that enough production is going on, and, and particularly the rendering, and that machines are properly free so that I can do editing on one desk, on one machine, and rendering on another, and then uploading on a third. And that will sort of keep things moving along. Uh, but it, 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 it's going to take some while to get the editing you know, back into the editing mode again, get, getting into working with multiple systems, uh, because you have to sort of synchronize what's on what hard drive, what's on another hard drive, you know, between the, diff the uh, multiple different systems. Uh, this is where the network comes in handy, and so I'm not I'm working on a single box, I'm working on a, uh, a, a computer system that's, not, net, that's actually a network, it's, it's got multiple systems on here, so... Uh, the goal will be to uh, slowly but surely over the year improve it. I went back to sort of say, because I said that we were rebooting after six months, but that's not actually entirely correct. I had done some over the summer and into, uh, actually, uh, into the winter, up until about November, I had done some uh, filming 
when we add hawk notes uh, outside uh, you'll see some of them that were always outside uh, doing observations for uh, atmospheric physics and I had filmed that and it, that had came to a screeching halt in, this, in about no, around mid-November when I got really sick uh, I couldn't keep my eyes open and basically was out for about an entire month and <laughs> Then it took me a while to get back, and I'm still not back into full speed yet because there's so much there's so much backlogged work to get done uh, that I still haven't finished everything yet. There's still a pile of work to get done. But what's happening is I am now on a regular schedule. There is a regular routine now, and things are being done day by day. I'm getting a good chunk of work done, uh, a good chunk of that 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 backlog. The 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 uh, the sort of the checklist that I have on a daily basis is getting done, so uh, we'll see where we go from here. I said I'm gonna try to vlog more uh, throughout the uh, the day. This will be in different areas, and this will sort of give a sort of change up the scenery, uh, show me in different places, and uh, we can maybe have a better discussion. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, how things go. I mean, uh, last night was again. This, this is what happens. Last night was, and, and this is not necessarily nice. Night. Last night was less than five hours ago. I was just about to go to bed around. I was planning to go to bed around ten o'clock, eleven o'clock in the evening. And I said, okay, yep, 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 because I had been up at five o'clock in the morning, uh, six o'clock in the morning, and I finally got up, and then started the day. What had happened, I started working on a project, uh, looking for different sources, for looking at different things, and uh, taking my notes. I didn't end up finishing, by the time I got to the last, re the last source, uh, I got to the last source just around 5, 5.30. Finished my notes, it was in bed by 6 o'clock in the morning. It is now 10.30 a.m., so I've gotten a total of four and a half hours worth of sleep, but I didn't have a full day, uh, a full day scheduled ahead of me. Sunday's going to be the same thing. Sunday's going to be a, a messed up schedule because I'm going to church early in the morning, and there's a lot to learn in church there because the church is in ancient Greek. There is a huge uh, volume of there's a huge volume of knowledge there that. Uh, has to be gone through to sort of uh, or, or explored that I'm still just getting into. I'm still sort of getting my feet wet. Even though I, as much as I know now, and you'll be seeing this in some new shows that are coming up uh, including uh, one that's called called Meditations on um, Bass TV. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to show up. Everything's going to show up on uh, the Cyborg, Cyborg Alpha TV network. The Cyborg Alpha TV network is going to bring all the shows from all the different channels together and you'll sort of be able to see everything in one place. Uh, but you'll see from that show that, that my knowledge of theology in the ancient world is significant. But as, as, as significant as it is, there is... That's just a surface. I've just scratched the surface of what's there. And a lot more needs to be done in order to sort of bring things forward and sort of open up the archives and give me access to things that I haven't seen yet. So I can't really anticipate what I'm going to see. So uh, I'm not going to anticipate. <laughs> you know, there's, there's, there's no way to do it. So uh, anyways, I'm going to leave this here. I will see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory, all BTS vlogs, this behind the scenes vlogs, vlog. And yeah, <laughs> alrighty, take it easy. Uh, well, vlogging throughout the day means different locations because I'm doing work in the front in the uh, this was the uh, original uh, research desk here and uh, my electronics bench is to the left I've got my piano to the right so this is going to become the, eventually become the music studio uh, the laundry is also to the left as well. The kitchen's behind you. So, uh, I've been doing some cleaning work, working in the kitchen, uh, for the last, uh, oh, 
four hours, I think. Four hours worth of cleaning today. In addition to all the research that's done, you also have to get the mundane everyday chores done as well. This is sort of the reality of things. And the hard part is, is you know, you're doing your work, you're finding some good information, uh, and you go to about four, go to about five, six o'clock in the morning. You get up again. I got up. You get up again four hours later at ten o'clock a.m. And so right now I'm running. I'm running on four hours worth of sleep. It does tax the body. It does drain you. Uh, but at the end, the end result will be on Monday or Tuesday. That's when I can get my. Uh, my uh, days to sleep in. Uh, I'll be able to catch up my sleep on Monday, Tuesday, and then we'll go from there. And the thing is, is that you don't expect to get everything done. You set up a list, you set up your goals, and bit by bit you work through it. You work through your your chore list, uh, your to do list, and the more you get done, the better it is. And so right now, I'm having some pretty good days because I'm getting more work done than I expected to get done. I'm not finishing the tour list because there's a lot to do uh, in the to-do list, but um, I am getting a, what I call a significant amount of progress done. And that's, for me, that's that's good. And that's kind of, but that's kind of the, the sort of thing is that yes, you would like to do your work. Yes, you, the situation is not necessarily ideal, but at least if you can look at to see some progress, like areas are being cleaned up that haven't been cleaned up for a while. Um, you're getting the laundry done. You're getting the dishes done. Uh, you're finding new information on an area of t or of an area of research that you, you that you're working on uh, that maybe you haven't found before. And your you, your notes are coming together. Your notes are being being more organized. These are all small, tiny little bits and pieces of success that when you start adding to, adding them together become more significant. So a lot of times we have a tendency to dismiss this in favor of, oh, I want something bigger. And what happens is because we're not paying attention to this, it's ironically enough, it's the small things. It's the note taking. It's the, it's the organization of the notes. We have one from ad hoc notes, or, no, or ad hoc notes are the individual notes that are taken without any organization that is jotted down in a journal. You go back to your notes, those ad hoc notes, and you start organizing them. Right? These little things, going from the ad hoc notes to the more significant notes, this is what, what prevents you, if you haven't done it, it prevents you from moving ahead. Because you can't go from, the, you can't go simply from your empty mind into an essay or into a documentary, you have to step things forward. And more often than not, if you don't write things down, you'll start missing them. You'll start, you won't you will find the connection. You don't not gonna you won't have the pieces of the puzzle that you need from one from one source to another source to start connecting things together. And this is what sort of what takes a, a, a large chunk of time is let's say you'll find twenty or thirty different sources. Well you may have to leave your system up and do your organization of notes as you go through your, your ad hoc notes. To go through all those sources, of the 20 or 30 different sources, uh, it could take you a good two days. If you spend like a half hour e e each source, right, and you have, let's say, 30 sources, uh, 30, uh, 30 sources divided by two, because you take a half hour each, uh, each, uh, uh, each uh, source and you're looking at about at least uh, at least uh, let's see uh, you're looking at 15 hours a 15, 15 hour day 15 hour day and the thing is, is if your day is like 12 hours and it's not even just 12 hours it's, sometimes it takes it does take longer on one source or another you're looking at because it's let's say even the 12 hours you're looking at an extra three hours you could be looking into a 20-hour day or longer if you decide to do it all at once. Or you could split it up over two days if you're at a point where, where you can get, okay, I'll, I'll stop now, I'll go to bed, I'll take, I'll, take, I'll, take, I'll take some time off and get some sleep. Because after doing that, that level of research, 
uh, your 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 body does get tired. You do get tired. Uh, it's hard to put thoughts and, and sentences together. It's hard to keep your eyes open because your eyes start to get very tired and they start to close on it on you automatically. And it does require a a degree of determination to push forward uh, to your next level or to your next ability. And sometimes you can do it, and sometimes you can't. Sometimes you do have to take that break and relax and, and, and sort of get some sleep, and then get up whenever you wake up again and start the pro the process from where you left off the night before. But I can guarantee you, if, if this is the problem, if you stop in the middle of something. And you're forced to stop because it just the fatigue is just too high, the, and you you have to continue it the next day. But or the next few whenever you get up again, because it, it could be like four or five hours. Uh, then what happens is when you go to bed, the thoughts that you have, the the the, the work, the research into this project, follows you into your sleep. It follows you into your dream, and you start dreaming about the work you're actually working because your mind hasn't sort of taken the break it needs. In other words, it's not even taking the break. It's not at a point where it can put it down. So its mind is still working on it. And when you go to bed, it, because your mind is still working on it, it, it follows you into your sleep. It follows you into your dreams. And it affects uh, the quality of sleep that you have. But the thing is, is that if you're pushing the boundaries like I am, pushing the boundaries of knowledge, Go, going as far as I can. The rewarding aspect of it, and the sort of the uh, the I don't know, I could call it like exciting, but is these rough edges, these these edges where you're tired, where you are exhausted, where you're pushing your limit. This is what makes research worth it. This is what where I'm doing something that most other people aren't doing, and to me that's good. I don't know how you feel about your work or, 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 or when you have to do extra work or whatever, but for myself, because I am pushing my knowledge forward, I am gaining more out of it when I finish, I'm happy with it. So, anyways, uh, it seems that we are doing a, I'm doing a better job at vlogging. We have a more, a more variety of different places that we're, we're, we're filming in. So, I think this should be good. We'll see what ends up happening. Uh, over the next few weeks. All right. See you in the next segment of the of the big big. Oh ah, here's what I forgot. I forgot to give you the time and date stamp, didn't I? So let me give you the time and date stamp because it is necessary. You see here. Okay. It's 16, 16 hours and twenty two minutes into the day of Saturday, March fifth, uh, two thousand sixteen. That's our time and date stamp. So it is here. We got it in. I need these time and date stamps, and other people. This is the way. This is the way scientific journaling works. You have to have the time and date stamp in there to know when this particular segment was shot. When you, because these are, these are notes. These are, are are part of my journal. This is part of my scientific research. The law. The scientific log. So you do have to put that time and date in there. It's kind of like a like a star date, if you will. If you, if everyone who watch, anyone who's a nerd up there, out there who's watching this, and uh, you know about watching Star Trek and, and Captain Kirk or Captain Jean Luc Picard, Picard talks about entering the star date into the into the journal there. Uh, well, that's, that's that's the way that's the way journaling works. And so, because this is a vlog or, or a video log, we do do like a scientific journal. We put the time and date stamp into the journal. So this is it. Anyways, I will see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory Row, BTS Vlog. I'm finally getting it. <laughs> Alright, take it easy. Professor, 
and professor of what? Professor of physics. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.